Wido. My name is Sabasa Kitamura. I'm 28 years old. I was struggling to find a job at a major general trading company, but reality was not so sweet. In the end, I got a job offer at Yoshi Industries, a small trading company specializing in plastic materials and parts. Although the company has a long history, it has a few employees and the president is elderly. Many of its customers are small and medium-sized companies in the town, which is very different from the trading company atmosphere I had envisioned. When I got the job offer, I thought about changing jobs right away, but... Tsubasa, you did a great job this month. You are our ace. No, 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 it's thanks to Mr. Sayama's teachings. This person with an overly warm smile is my boss and department head, Mr. Sayama. I learned everything from work, know-how, to mindset from this man. Thanks to him, I became a young ace in the company. Tsubasa, congratulations on being ranked number one in sales again this month. Oh, thanks. I mean, you're a close second too, Tetsuya. He's Tetsuya and now. Two years my junior. You're now friendly rivals. You two are as close as ever. You make me nostalgic. You used to have colleagues and juniors, didn't you, Mr. Sayama? Yeah, I did. Good friends like you two who can improve each other. We talked about our dreams and goals with each other. Dreams. Well, let's not talk about us old guys. Anyway, I have high expectations for you two young guys. Yes, leave it to us. Yes, Mr. Sayama is right. We young people are the ones who will carry the future of our company. That's why I try to stay motivated, but... Uh... What? Our companies are merging? I'm sorry, but the president of Nakajima Trading is a good and trustworthy man. I wish you all the best with your new colleagues. Our company is going to be merged. Nakajima Trading, the other company, is a startup company that has been growing rapidly in recent years. The presidents and employees are still young, and it's said that they are all elites. In the midst of industry restructuring, President Yoshi, who is also an old man, chose to retire, gambling on the company's survival and rejuvenation. As a result, we became the vanishing company, and Nakajima Trading became the surviving company, and most of the upper management of Yoshi Industries retired or were reassigned. However, it seems that Mr. Sayama, the general manager, is still in charge of the company, and we young people were relieved. Then one day... Oh, I look forward to working with you from now on. All of you from the vanishing company. The employees of Nakajima Trading who came here were blatantly looking down on us. Among them, the one who was particularly bad was this man named Aoki. Aoki is 28 years old, the same age as me. And I hear he's also considered an ace among the younger generation. He is also a relative of President Nakajima. So he is trusted by the upper management. Hey, what are you trying to do with all these contracts with such small companies? Uh, there is no such thing as a small or large company. They're all important customers. I didn't know there were still people who talk like that. That's why you guys are vanishing. Uh, his way of thinking is the opposite of mine. He only gives priority to big companies. And he dismisses small and medium-sized companies which have always cherished. Saying they don't make any money. I just couldn't like his way of doing things. And I was the only one Aoki was taking a bite out of. Hey Aoki, I'd like to talk to you about your sales techniques. What? I can't listen to an employee of a vanishing company. Even to Mr. Sayama. I know you've been smiling in your lukewarm environment so far, but if I get promoted, I'll fire you immediately. Until then, please be quiet and do your chores. Ah, I see. Here, could you make me a copy of these documents and make me a cup of coffee? Your kindness is your only merit, Mr. Manager. Hey, come on! You can't say that to Mr. Sayama! It's okay, Subasa. But... Hey, okay, I understand. I won't interfere with you at all from now on. Let's see how you do. Huh? You don't even want to argue with me? What a pity. Well, I don't mind. All right, please make some copies. That guy, he's using the manager. I can't forgive him. Yeah, me too, Sayama. Should talk back a little too. Maybe he's being pressured from above? I heard Aoki is a family member of the president. You're right, that could be a possibility. Even after that, Aoki's arrogant attitude escalated. But Mr. Sayama remained as calm as ever. At this rate, the department might change to Aoki's liking. 
I was getting impatient. Then one day, us younger employees were ordered by upper management to propose a new business plan. We were to make a presentation in front of the president, executives, and other senior management. However, this was not just an internal presentation, but rather it tested the abilities of the young employees, especially those of the young employees of our vanishing company. Aoki also. I'm going to show you the difference in ability between you and the vanishing group in this presentation. Well, you guys will have to do your best. With that, Aoki left with his cronies. What are we gonna do? We'll go ahead with the project on our own. This is our chance. Chance? If we could get results and recognition for this presentation, we might be able to talk to upper management about Aoki's arrogant attitude. With this thought in mind, I inspired everyone and took on the role of leader to organize a plan. With this project, it became clear that it was an inflection point between Aoki and the other survivors, and me and the vanishing group. But Mr. Sayama is just smiling in the middle of it as usual. This time, so to speak, is a big battle for the survival of us, the old Yoshi Industries. If we don't do something, we'll be taken over. Or has Mr. Sayama given up already? <laughs> I couldn't help but wonder. Then came the day of the presentation. In the front row of the conference room, all the upper management were present. Aoki was making small talk with these executives, as if he was acquainted with them. Uh, I'm feeling awfully away. It's alright, let's go calmly as we prepared. I was more nervous than usual. But Mr. Sayama was just smiling and watching us as usual. He didn't seem to be dependable. Don't worry, we've been trying really hard too. The presentation began with Aoki and his team. The presentation was full of flashy colors, brilliant design, even animation, giving it an, an elitist feel. We can do this! Aoki's proposal was a bit unrealistic, and the profit estimates were somewhat wishful thinking. And more than anything else, Aoki's plan was suitable for large companies and totally unsuitable for small and medium sized companies, which we have been part of for many years. Aoki, nevertheless, proceeded with his presentation in a skillful manner and finished it with a face that seemed convinced that he had won. Certainly the presentation itself was good, but it could have been better. They're definitely going to point that part out. But... Oh, it's wonderful! If Aoki says so, it must be true. What? Could this have been a fixed race from the beginning? I was going to point out the flaws in the content, but under the circumstances, that would just sound like a sore loser. Mr. Sayama is still smiling and keeping his mouth shut. But I'm counting everyone's thoughts. I won't give up. I did my best to present as I prepared it. It wasn't a brilliantly designed document like Aoki's group, but I'm confident in the content. But the executives must have thought that Aoki's idea was definitive and they didn't even give it a chance. And when the presentation was over, there was no applause. That's kind of plain, isn't it? It's not very impressive. How about you, President? Huh? It looks like I'm going to win. And at that moment... Um... Mr. Sayama, who had been sitting silently until a moment ago, suddenly stood up and... Do you people take work seriously? M Mr. Sayama? What are you talking about all of a sudden? I mean... Do you seriously think Aoki's idea is superior? I... I mean... Because he's a relative of the president. <laughs> anyway, Aoki's idea is flawed. What? What's flawed about my plan? First, there's a general lack of realism. Secondly, the feelings of business partners are ignored. And... Mr. Sayama was his usual calm face and proceeded to thoroughly point out the flaws in Aoki's proposal. Mr. Sayama did not miss any of the doubts I had, nor did he miss anything that no one else listening would have noticed. On slide 8, the profit estimate, what is the basis for the gross margin projection? Uh, 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 uh last year's, uh, last year. He didn't take into account the impact of the merge. And since this is such a predictable question, don't you think you could have prepared an answer? I... I'm too busy. And you have time to make animations. Uh, what, what about this guy's presentation? Tsubasa, please tell us the basis of your estimate. Y yes! First I checked Nakajima's trading sales and gross profit for the past three years, and then I considered each other's business history and clientele. I was able to answer the questions perfectly because I knew they would be asked. 
Of course, all of this preparation was taught by Mr. Sayama. And so, Kitamura's idea is very realistic. Also with this, we can expect to re-sign with ABC Corp, which we ended business with four years ago in May. And the profit margin on that after that, Mr. Sayama began to talk about the situation and issues of our business partners based on my proposal. Without using any materials or calculators, the conference room was overwhelmed by his power. The critical difference between the two, however, is the idea itself. Aoki's idea ignores the feelings of the other party. Prioritizing immediate profit will drive small and medium-sized companies away, and even large ones won't have a long relationship with you. See? That's the Nakajima trading way. Don't talk big when you're from a vanishing company. Says your employee. President. No. Nakajima, what do you think? Is your way of thinking changed as well? Hey, how dare you talk to our boss? A apologize now. No, you apologize. What? Mr. Sayama, my apologies for the rudeness of my people. You too, bow your head! Wait, wait a minute. Why should the president of Nakajima Trading apologize to a guy like this? I didn't tell you, but he's my senior. Uh huh. In other words, I, or rather Nakajima Trading, is what it is today because of this man. But what does that mean? I used to work for Yoshi Industries too. What? That's right. I mentioned before that I used to have a colleague who could motivate each other, right? That's Nakajima. What? Then President Nakajima told us something about his past that we didn't know. When he just graduated from college, President Nakajima, like me in the past, was job hunting for a job with a major trading company. But in the end, it was Yoshi Industries that gave him a job offer. At first, President Nakajima immediately set his sights on changing jobs. But his thoughts changed drastically when he met Mr. Sayama, who was two years his senior. According to President Nakajima, Mr. Sayama was always a capable and top salesperson since he was in his 20s. He had a calmer countenance than anyone else, did more work than anyone else, and was loved by his clients. Mr. Sayama was recognized by President Yoshi and became a general manager in his 30s. Meanwhile, President Nakajima left the company, aiming to become independent which he had dreamed of doing for some time. He then established Nakajima Trading. The merger was also thought up between the two of them. In other words, Nakajima Trading may have different targets and business, but it has inherited President Yoshi's and Mr. Sayama's management philosophy and beliefs. I didn't know that. I wonder what he misunderstood. I thought working for Mr. Sayama would change things, so I kept my mouth shut. But it looks like that didn't work out at all. It's not that I'm not good enough, it's... Just a matter of Mr. Sayama's guidance. You know, for a long time now, Mr. Sayama has never given up on any human being. If you had listened to him carefully, you could have come up with a more brilliant proposal that wasn't superficial. Yes, just like Kitamura. D thank you. Aoki, you turned down Mr. Sayama's advice, didn't you? Uh, that's... Uh... As I thought. I'll take this opportunity to reevaluate what the other kind of person that company needs. No. And you too, board members! Y yes I don't know if it's because he's one of my own, but we're gonna have to start from scratch. M we apologize! Thus, the presentation came to an end. While we were happy to be rewarded for our achievement, we surrounded Mr. Sayama and asked him questions. It was the idea of both President Yoshi and President Nakajima to leave Mr. Sayama's department head. And apparently, Mr. Sayama did not talk much about his past simply because he was embarrassed. Man, tell me about it sooner. A few weeks later. What? I'm, I'm fired. Yeah, I'm sorry, but the boss has been planning to do that for a while. I tried to stop him, but... Aoki had apparently been doing reckless business for some time and had been receiving a lot of complaints. The president of the company has made a harsh judgment on Aoki's conduct, including the power harassment he had been subjecting his cronies to. Aoki was gone, and the peaceful workplace was restored. Alright, let's all continue to take it easy. Ever since then, Mr. Sayami's smile sometimes looks scary. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna keep working hard so that one day I can catch up with Mr. Sayama. <laughs>